Now at 5.30, a promise kept to the community in Roxbury. The state's emergency shelter at the Melnia Cass Rec Center is now closed, and the dozens of families staying there have already been relocated. Good afternoon, I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. The shelter was always designed to be a temporary one. As WBZ's Louisa Moeller shows us, Roxbury residents are glad to have their rec center back for their use. Three, two, one. At this Roxbury Park, it's hoops and music and May Smith. Come back in the summertime when the game starts. Who's been swimming at the pool at the Melnia Cass Recreation Center since the 1970s. I like the pool. I'm not <laughs> such a great swimmer, but I love the pool. The weather and the rec center are coming back right in time. All winter, it was filled with cots and sleeping bags as the state converted it to an emergency shelter for migrant families who were staying at Logan Airport. Months later, it's emptied out as promised and returned to community use ahead of Memorial Day. People seen pushing carts of stuff out, a point for one community, a change for another. Now the dozens of families who were living at the rec center are joining families like this one. At the shelter at the Chelsea Soldiers Home, the state continues to juggle as the flow of new arrivals slows just a bit. Last August through October, the state saw an average of 30 to 40 families seeking emergency shelter per day. That number now down to 22 families daily. About 400 new people between our Boston and our Lowell sites a month. Zan Weber, senior vice president at the International Institute of New England, says they're still seeing a steady flow of new arrivals and stable housing options are not catching up to the numbers of migrants who are coming. This is going to be the toughest part of the work, and it's because immigrants are not or mig migrant families are not getting prioritized ahead of other people when it comes to finding shelter, uh, affordable, stable housing. What's left are options like the Norfolk jail being converted to a migrant shelter and some uncertainty about what will happen when Governor Healy implements a time limit on shelter stays. It's so challenging to find the affordable housing. In Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Now, about half of the families in the state shelter system are staying in traditional shelters. The rest are in hotels and motels. Now, Boston is one of seven communities right now with shelters who are supporting 200 or more families. The others are Lynn, Peabody, Springfield, Worcester, Lowell, and Stoughton. As of last week, as we check the numbers, there were 7,440 families still enrolled in the shelter system. Paula?